Okay, so we're making a jack skeleton from the Nightmare Before Christmas out of this beach ball. This is a 22 inch beach ball. Um, anyway, what you're going to need to do it is two cups of water, which is already in the bowl, two cups of flour, just all purpose flour that you would bake with. Um, dump that in the bowl. Then you're going to need just some salt, one teaspoon of salt. Just pour it in there, and then there you go. Make sure you get all the. I dumped the water in first, so now the flour is sticking. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, once you get that in there like that, just get the beater, beat it up. going to do, it's pretty basic, I'm sure you've seen other people do this, I'm just going to do a, just a few to give you the idea of what we're doing here, in case you want to do this. So you're going to take the paper mache, there's ways you can do it, some people do, like to just do it like that, I, I do that but I like to just kind of get it in there and get going with it, so just dip this in here like that, once you get it in there. Just kind of hold it, slide your fingers down it, make sure it's all wet with it on there, and then just stick it on there. Once, you, just just like that. And just keep doing that all the way around it. Just get that nice and wet with that. Like I said, it's kind of a mess. It can be a mess, I guess. Just kind of lay these on here. I like to overlap them a little bit because um, if you don't, what happens is they can, if you don't cover the ball right, then it will uh, start to bulge through and be a real disaster. So just get those on there like so. Make sure you don't get any wrinkles. I'm not a pro at this, so. <laughs> If you're better than me, awesome. Um, but once you get that on, you're just pretty much going to do that until you cover the entire ball. We're going to do this, and as soon as we're done, we'll show, we'll move on to the next step. And you want to do about five, I would say at least five layers of this stuff. Let each layer dry, and do about five layers of it. Um, and then you should be good to, to cut out the face. Alright, we'll continue on as soon as this dries. But this is how you at least get it going. Okay? Alright.
Okay, so I'm making this jack skeleton, and um, anyway, this is the third stage. The I have now it now has five layers of paper mache, and it's all hard. So, and anyway, <clears throat> I've now done the. I started with the beach ball, put the paper mache on it, and so this is the third stage of what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going to make this jack out of, uh, I'm going to make a, trying to make a seven foot life size, um, jack, um, character. Anyway, I was going to use this, uh, image, which I think is pretty cool. I like this face. And anyways, let's just kind of show you what I've got so far. So this is the five, this is the, um, this is the back uh, of it. I'm going to turn around and show you what I've done so far. So I have now cut out the face, um, at least the eyes that I want. So I've cut out the face. Um, it's all hard. And I've already cut out the eyes. And that took me four hours. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have took that long. But it took me four hours to actually indent inside the eye sockets. And there's actually six layers of paper mache in the eyes just took a lot of time to actually form it because you know they're wet and you have to sit there and mold it and stuff so yeah so and this eye goes out like that a little bit and this one's more of an up um kind of like the picture here you can see that one goes up a little more on the right and the other one's kind of to the side a little bit so in this stage i have now got that with the eyes cut out and i'm so now I'm going to mold the thickness that kind of details his 3D, gives him that 3D look in his eye. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead today and do the where it bulges up right here and goes around, kind of gives him that 3D look. I'll cut the nose out, and uh, eventually, and then I'm gonna paper clay or whatever I'm gonna do to seal. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on that. Um, maybe some bondo. Uh, joint compound. I'm not sure. I, I'm not really what I'm going to do there. But I'm going to basically do that, get the nose cut out, and uh, and then we'll I'll do a video showing what I've done uh, the next. But yeah, this is what it looks like so far. This is the third stage of Jack Skeleton from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I hope you like this video and um, to be continued to the next video. So there you go. This is him. Got his face and I like that mean look that he has too. That, I like that face. So hopefully soon enough he'll soon look like this. Um, it's been about this is about eight days, nine days worth of work but I haven't been on it every single day and just have other things going on but we'll just uh keep going with it and see how it turns out but yeah i like the eyes how the eyes turned out I'm pretty happy with that so there you go Okay, so um, this is uh, uh, the continuation of working on Jack's skeleton. Um, what I did after the newspaper, after the paper mache, I just, instead of doing like, people do like paper clay or um, stuff like that, or they'll make it, and I was going to do that, but it wasn't sticking to the paper, maybe it was just me, I don't know. 
So I decided to just go ahead and just do joint compound. Um, to use for like walls. Uh, I got a box of it for like eight bucks at Lowe's and really cheap. And after the paper mache, you cut the holes out of the eyes and everything. And then I just basically got one of these like cheap spongy things you can get at like Walmart or wherever, Lowe's. And um, anyway, I just slap it on there and then just make sure the paper mache is really dry because if it's not dry completely or it has any cracks where it can lift up and start putting this on, it will lift the paper up. So make very sure that your paper is completely dry and free of any kind of like cracks or anything that could cause it to come up. But if you got that part down, then you just rub. What I've done so far is I've just done the um, joint compound um, mud stuff. And I've just rubbed it all over it. I still have to do the bottom, but um, this is, let me show you what I've got here so far. Um, so I just use it once you slot the compound on, you take this, you get like a pack of different varieties, and um, the biggest one is one I was using when I did this, and you just slap it on like basically like you're um, frosting a cake, slap it on, and just use this to sponge around it and smooth it all out. It's pretty easy, and goes pretty fast actually. And I was going to use paper clay, stop it please. <laughs> I was going to use paper clay that I bought, um, sorry, to make the eyebrows and distinct the eyes. When I went to put that on, it wasn't sticking. So I had this crazy idea that I would just use the same compound to make the eyebrows. It's a little technical and it does take time, but just get, I just got a goob gob of it and just kind of slap it on there and it's kind of pretty sticky stuff so you just slap it on there and then I was just kind of just form it on there and then I was just kind of brushing at it you know it's still kind of wet and it'll dry when it does dry and this is kind of cool because doing it like this saves you a ton of money because you don't have to buy all this stuff to make the paper clay which I did do but I, ha I probably I'm not going to do it now and you could just buy this eight dollar box and do the whole jack with this. I mean, pretty much, because if I'm gonna, I've already done that one eyebrow and I'm pretty happy with it. And I'm just gonna goob it over here and make the other eyebrow. And then I'm gonna goob it right here and try to form his nose. That might be a little little iffy. I might have to use clay for that. I'm not sure. But uh, as far as the compound, I've done it to go around the, the paper mache, and then now I've. Um, I'm forming his eyebrow and I'm going to try to form his nose and the other eyebrow and I'm possibly going to use it to form his mouth and if I could do all that with just this then heck you know it was only a dollar for the ball and the paper was free and the compound's eight bucks so if I can do it with just the compound and maybe some just some you know sealant and some paint uh, it'd be pretty cool and then pretty cheap uh, you know jack but like I said I'll keep you updated as I go along and let you know if I did change something to use something else or if this doesn't work. This is still fresh in the progress, so I don't know how well this is going to hold up, if it's going to do well or not. But this stuff is like you put on a wall, um, so it's sandable. So once I goob it on there like that and it dries, that's yeah, a little like, looks a little funny, but when it dries, I can just take some light sandpaper to it and I can kind of smooth it out and shape it and get the wrinkly stuff out of it. Same with Jack himself, I can go around Jack and smooth him out so he's nice and smooth. So, you know, if you can do it for do it most of it with just one item, then that'll save some time. But this is what I've done so far, and I'm going to do the other eyebrow and hopefully the nose tonight, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll do another video and keep this continuous, continuing, continuation sorry, on making Jack's skeleton. So basically what I'm doing right here is I'm just basically taking two knives, grabbing, getting some of the compound out, and well, I'm doing a little here, but I did a, minute, a lot a second ago. You just pretty much just, just glob it on like so, you know, and just try to, when I first put it on, I did it fast. You just grab a chunk of it and just kind of, almost like just thick toothpaste, just kind of wrap it around there. And then once you get it on there, like so, Grab this little brush here and just kind of detail it, you know, just it's pretty sticky stuff. So at this point, you just want to shape it. Um, 
like I said, it's the hard part is just getting it to to not be all um, wrinkly like that. You need to kind of just work with it. It it takes a few minutes, but it goes quickly. You know, I have to tinker with it to get it what you want, but um, that, this is pretty much what I'm doing. Just sit here and just you gotta have some patience. You gotta have some time just to play with it, and then just. Like come under here and just kind of use your little brush here. Just kind of work it in there. Just kind of play with it and get it to um, just kind of look like it's part of Jack's face and not just thrown up there like that. But yeah, just use this little spongy brush and just play with it. It's pretty good stuff to work with. And when it dries, it, it sometimes I hope it doesn't crack. Um, like I said, I'll, this should work. I mean, it seems to be fine, but I just did that eyebrow in like two minutes. Um, yeah, that one, see that one's already drying. I've, this one's only been sitting here for about, oh, 10 minutes or so. And see, show this one. Here, go back a little bit. But, um, yeah, just kind of shape them, you know, however thick you want them. And that's, you know, uh, this, is how you, this is how I'm doing it. Just taking the compound and just shape it and to whatever you, you like the look of it. And that should be it. And um, I'll, uh, to be continued. Hi, okay, so this is the next stage of what happened. So let me kind of explain what happened here. So I had never done this before, and I had mentioned that you can use the, that I was using the joint compound that you, and to just smooth over the paper mache. Well, it all went well. I even made the eyebrows, I made, I made the eyebrows and everything of Jack, and just, totally covered the whole thing, did all that with just joint compound. But what happened, and I was afraid of what was gonna happen, is the next day when I woke up, it was cracking everywhere. So, if you can see, there was, um, it just started to crack. And I, I noticed it was cracking when I was doing it, um, but I, I, I would add more and it would kind of go away in some spots it did but in most most of it, it it was there was like little hairline cracks just everywhere and I mean I kind of expected that I just used it because I thought it was be a you know just a cheaper alternative like I said this is the first one I've ever done so I was about to just give up when I saw that and just say the heck with it but I never give up that easy and so what I did, uh, I would suggest if you're gonna do this, um, probably use. I'm gonna I'm gonna make more of them, so I'll, I'll figure out something better to use. Probably paper clay. Uh, I was gonna make my own, but I just thought, well, I had this box of joint compound, and I thought it would just be easier just to use that and see how it happened. But anyway, as you can see, it was cracking. It didn't damage it, but it just was cracking everywhere, and it just. I don't know. In a way, it kind of looks cool, though. I mean, Jack Skeleton is a skeleton, so the cracks kind of give it that skeleton look. But you're not going to see them, hopefully, when I'm done. Because what's happened here, this is what I did. I have a bunch of this stuff right here. This is Enviro Hold Concentrate. It locks mulch in place. It's for, like, uh, wood chips. 
You spray it on the wood chips, it goes on white and dries clear. It holds them in place so they don't blow everywhere. I had a few of these bottles laying around in my garage because I had wood chips in my yard, but I got rid of them, so I didn't I wasn't gonna use this anymore. But I was trying to figure out, okay, crap, how I gotta fix these cracks really fast. What am I gonna do? Um, before it totally falls to pieces. It wasn't like dried up, it was just cracking and it just I, I couldn't even sand it down, which that was upsetting to me because I couldn't sand it down because I probably would have damaged it. So I just hurried up. Anyway, I had some of this in the garage, so I took some of this, and this is concentrate. You're supposed to add water to it um, when you use it on your mulch, but I just used this. So what I did to just make a quick fix, I took this and I... Uh, Dumped it in a container, just some of it, like that's how much I used, maybe, you know, I used maybe that much of it. And I, I used <clears throat> that, just a little a little bit of it, and that bottle of Elmer's glue. And I just dumped that little bit of this into a bowl, dumped an entire bottle of Elmer's glue, and they both pretty much are white, kind of liquidy. And I just kind of mixed it together really fast, and it wasn't, and I just got like a sponge like I showed you before, how I wiped the Bondo on. I just did that on it really fast and then just kind of took a hair dryer to it and dried it and it actually turned out quite nice. It's, it's it basically has like a sill on it now, I like sealed it, it sealed all the cracks. It, you can see the cracks because this stuff dries clear. So it, it sealed Jack, it sealed him all up, protected all this stuff, but you can still see the cracks but I think by the time I primer it and paint it, you won't. So it's a little bummer that they're there, but if, if I can get them all covered up, which I took care of them by sealing them with this. This already is an adhesive, but I just added the Elmer's glue just to give it a little extra, you know, um, enforcement as far as uh, trying to keep them together. This was kind of like a uh-oh, what do I do to kind of fix it, Dill? I wouldn't say you would have to do this. If you decided to do it, I did notice that I, I had to do the bottom earlier because I hadn't, it was still paper mache And when I did that, it actually didn't turn out, it didn't crack because when I did it, I, it, I was able to um, do it and then dry it really fast and then rub this glue on there and it didn't crack. What made it crack is when I sat it overnight. Um, so anyways, if this stuff seemed to work good the way I added the glue and that, if this stuff would be really good to use as far as I'm concerned, but I probably would advise using something else to go around Jack with after the paper mache just so this doesn't happen. But if you wanted to use this as a sealer, this would make an awesome sealer. If I were to paint this and put this at the end, I think it would look really nice. So maybe I will, I don't know. But either way, it saved Jack's life, so I'm happy about that because I thought he was a goner. Um, the only downfall was I couldn't sand it down. I mean, I maybe could have, but I just chose not to because I wanted to fix it as fast as I could. Um, but yeah, this seemed to work, and it's, it's it actually just really nicely dried clear. But I'm going to also... Right now I'm going to do the mouth and then I'll let that dry and then I'll have to cut the lines out and then I'll primer it and then I'll paint it and then we'll see what happens. I'll kind of keep it going. I'll keep uh, doing videos as I move along here but yeah, this is what happened. did the joint compound and it cracked it and then I used this stuff. So this stuff actually works really nice. It made a really nice sealer. So and it, like I said, you can't even fill the cracks anymore. It's like it sealed right over them. You can just see them because it's it's clear dried. So, but we'll uh, it looks nice. And um, I'm gonna see the picture here. So I think it looks pretty, you know, pretty close to this picture here. Let's see if I put that. Well, either way. So as far as getting the eyes and everything, um, let's turn that down a little bit more. So yeah, the nose, I could have made, probably made the nose a little bit more defined. I really struggled with that nose, I don't know why. That thing took me like four hours to do, it was, it was so stupid. 
I just, I don't know, I just, I just couldn't, I was trying to use that stupid compound and I just couldn't get it right, but even it was starting to crack and, I mean, like I said, it kind of looks cool with the cracks, but I, um, he almost looks white, I almost should just leave him, but <laughs> just paint him with the black with the way he is, but anyway, I'll keep you updated and that's where we're at right now and.